Hi, I'm back to Manual Motion. I'm Evan. And I'm Dom. And today we're gonna take this E39 BMW M5 to Cars and Coffee. Let's go. But first, Dom, tell us the stats. So today we have a 4.9 liter V8 pushing out 400 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque through a six-speed manual, and it's powering only the rear wheels. Yeah. This thing is a complete monster and yeah. so fun. Full enthusiast spec. I mean, oh, yeah. it has all the, all the boxes. Naturally aspirated, V8, man transmission, rear wheel drive, it's a Beamer. It's no so traction cool. control. No traction control, none of that stuff. No big grill. It. Don't even need it, no big grill. No actually, big grill. It looks normal it, somehow. For some reason, I feel like BMW, they lost their way. They, they did. It, it really, but yeah. like this is this is peak, peak, this is peak, peak BMW, BMW of all time. This yeah. the, BMW, I don't think has made a car like this. All you need is like a been, front Euro plate right here. <laughs> And then and I, I would love to daily drive this thing. Oh my God. But anyway, so yeah, we, uh, we're really excited to drive this day. We're taking it to Zoomox Cars and Coffee in New Canaan. Um, and we're, we're super excited we get to drive it today. So we'll see you there. We are All right, in, we're in the, the BMW. BMW. Wait. That doesn't feel right. We did it again. All right. One second. One second. Hold on. All right. Oh, that's, that's a better. lot better. There My seat go. didn't change ah, much. There it is. My seat right. didn't change much. We're gonna put our seatbelts on, get going. Sadly not color matched. No, not color matched. I wish it would, because the rest of this entire interior here is color matched. It's amazing. <laughs> it's literally all color matched. It's all red, red door inserts, red seats, red, red back seats. Yeah. It's so I'm surprised cool. the headliner isn't red, honestly. It's Alcantara though. It is very, very, very sporty. Nice and so is like the eight pillar. It's just so cool in here. This First thing I want to mention is that for a 2001 car, this infotainment is crazy. It's pretty cool. Like it's, it's. Yeah, it's not the iDrive that it, BMW is so famous no, for. No, 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 but it's. It's impressive. It's, it's good. It is actually very impressive. We have an ashtray, this of whole, course. We have an ashtray. We have a cigarette lighter because we smoke. Um, <laughs> we no. got a um, nice little. Uh, <laughs> Pop out cup holders. Little cup holders here. We have. They're in a pretty good spot. They're in a better than than Audi, where it's like up here on the dash. But you know what I mean? You're still gonna drip, and you're still gonna stain that. Yeah, for sure. Which, and isn't, not which great. isn't great. But I think the the talk of the town with this car is with the V8 up front. We mentioned before. It's got six feet manual, and what an odd shape. It's really it tall. It really is tall. Like, <laughs> like I feel like you can like it's one of the you know the ones with the red button on it, yeah, the nitrous yeah, yeah. button. It feels like, like I feel like that, that should be that. But you really, you can like grab the top kind of easily. Really it's very grab nice. it however you want. It's nice. Yeah, we have the Creature Comforts too. Yeah. Heated seats, got a sport button. Digitized, kind of digitized dash. Yeah. With the like, shift lights. Uh, oh yeah. That's actually like, like really cool. So it's not a shift light. It's actually where the red line is. So yes, it changes right, based right. on, uh, you know, where, how heated up the car is. The car is actually hot right now. So yeah, I won't be able to show you that on up. camera, but it's super, super cool. Like really innovative for early two thousands. Um, yeah, we have a we have a sunroof. A sunroof got like all. I mean, like we have tons of creature cool, comforts. We have Homelink <laughs> in the two thousands. Mention the Homelink because it's cool. <laughs> like this, I'd one hundred percent daily drive this, and I'd be like, yeah, my Damn car's man. got Homelink. It's stop <laughs> bragging all your friends. Not, yeah, not the fact you have a BMW M five. No, no, no. You have Homelink. Because why would I brag about that? Because this, this thing is just awesome. Yeah. And I like how we got the vents on the actual doors. But no, the, the steering wheel is actually, in typical BMW fashion, very thick. With it's two C's. It's, it's fantastic. Um, and it's, it's nice other wrapped. It's got the, uh, the M color stitching. Yeah. This is kind of back when M wasn't as gaudy as it currently is, where everything is M colored. Yeah. You have, uh, it's gaudy in here because of the red interior, but if yeah. it's not in black, you couldn't tell. The actual, the, the M stitching is a good way to notice M uh, badge on the steering wheel, M on the door sills as yeah, well. Yeah, well, M, M on, on the, the shifter. But like, that's about it. We that's have, oh, M in the gauge cluster, yeah. you know, but very, very simple in here. One thing I do like to say is how cool you feel rolling up and down your windows. Wait, it says asymmetrical doors. It does. Oh, like a Ferrari. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like that's, actually, Ferrari. that's really but cool. Like the buttons, it's not a regular pull switch. It's a toggle switch. And if you hold it like this, you can like rock it back and forth. I don't know why. It's just, it's just like, <laughs> it yeah. It's not worth it at all. Yeah, I'm wrong. I'm, we're we're professionals. Like we're pretty we are sure. very professional. Um, I swear. I think, in terms of professional, the professionalism that the engine was made with 
is mm-hmm. quite impressive. Professionals and, usually have the car running. I think we. I think they usually. They do. usually. Do. Or they start up on camera. Well, they, yeah. I think we should start up on camera. We should start it. That's so smart. Why haven't we been doing that? Anyways, we have the key here. Yeah. Um, uh, and okay. so the, the key it positions in the normal spot you'd find it on the right side. We go ahead and push the clutch in, um, and we go ahead and give it a turn. Give all the lights going on. The steering wheel lowers. That's kind of fun. We go ahead and give it a start. Yep. Not very, very subdued. Loud. It's very not very loud. Not very loud in here. Yeah. I think we got a. I think actually maybe a rolling yeah. windows to really give it a here, and uh, we got it. Uh, it's warmed up. The yeah. red lights on the dash for the red line are all the way at the end, so we know it's warm. Yeah. And uh, we'll go ahead and give Which it a... Which it has, I think, 6,500 red line, right? 6,500 red line. Pretty That's, low. But for a natural aspirator V8, yeah. not too bad, not too bad. Uh, and we'll go and give it a rev. Pretty sonorous. Honestly, it's, it's like an, really it's like an opera. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it, I, it's so sonorous, and I'm so yeah. excited to drive it. Uh, let's just get going. Let's go. All right, we're out here driving the M5. Woo! Woo! And uh, we're just kind of cruising along. We got our manual transmission. We're going to pull up to a bit of a straightaway here. Yeah. Get the revs kind of up. We got a low, about 6,500. Let's see what happens. Oh. 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 That is some luxurious power. Yeah, it's a very smooth power. It's very smooth power delivery. Yeah, I'm. I feel like and I'm. We're like, not even in sport mode. I feel like yeah, that was that was a normal mode, just kind of pulling third gear. Yeah, this is a this is a businessman supercar. This is a gentleman's. I feel like I should be wearing a suit. It's it does feel very. Wait, we are. No, no, we don't have the budget for that. that yeah, no. I do just feel very serene in this car. There's obviously yeah. a ton of power for the time, especially for the time period. But even by today's standards, it's a lot of power. Yeah, and, it's a really healthy amount. And we just have a, a... But we have a more comfortable driving experience than I think I was anticipating. Yeah. Which is weird, because it's like a mid-size... It's the mid-size sedan class of that generation, but it's the... It's a, it's more comfortable, almost like I would imagine some more modern luxury vehicles would be. Yeah. No. It's... I've driven a few modern cars, and I've driven a few old cars, and this... This definitely drives like a very modern car. Totally. Suspension-wise, like you don't you don't feel like you're getting jerked around. I think I can have a, a conversation with you and not be you know having to shout over. It's not some phonetic, really high perform you know yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy ten tenth sports car. It's, it's a businessman going to work kind of vibe. It's great. Yeah, it's a businessman who wants to smoke a lot of people <laughs> on the road, and he wants to destroy on the track Absolutely. if he wanted to. And I'm. And I was in downshifting here as we're kind of waiting for someone to turn into a lot. The rep matching is quite easy. Uh, we, the manual transmission in this car is overshadowed by the actual noise of the engine. Wow, that's good. Yeah. I'm going to go in sport mode actually and see if the exhaust changes at all. And immediately the steering kind of feels even a little bit tighter. I don't think the engine characteristics change. I don't know what the uh, the setup is like in yeah. this car when you I have the sport mode I don't know what sport mode does. But I can tell you the steering does feel much better. Yeah. Because in normal mode, it's very light. It's very, very light. You kind of go around a corner, and it kind of... It, it thinks about it, and then it goes, but... Is it like mode, one finger light, or is it like... It's a bit... It's two finger light. It's two finger light. Okay. Two finger light. Whereas, like, in sport mode, I really feel like I'm, you know, can push this car around a corner, and it really handles it quite well. I'm, I'm actually really surprised by that, frankly. If you're sitting in the back, you have a ton of room. Ton like, I'm noticing of- that. I'm sitting far back because both of us are decently tall. Mm-hmm. We're both sitting decently far back. We're kind of relaxed in our positions. Yeah. And I'm looking, and I'm. You could. Sit, I could sit back there behind myself very comfortably. It's anyway. not the seven series of this era, because the seven series would have been seven series crazy was luxurious. It was massive. Yeah. This is the lightweight younger brother, mm-hmm. but with still quite luxurious features. And we also have these incredibly comfortable seats yeah. on the road. I am. They're, they're so, so good. I like the bolstering mm. feels right. I don't know how to yeah. describe that. It's right at the edge. It's it, right yeah. like, it's like, yeah. it's like, hug. it's like a nice hug that comforts you. It's like, we're going to throw you around the corner real quick. It's yeah. going to be fine. Don't worry. You'll be, we'll hold you. Don't worry. We will. Very small. Wow, this yeah. red matching is so easy in this car. I, I, the one thing I do have to say is the shifter I was seeing before kind of it was overshadowed by the engine, and that's got true. The actual 
gear knob itself and the actual action it has is not as precise or as like notch notch as a lot of other modern sports cars um, or even performance sedans that are comparable of the era I, would, I wouldn't think I feel like everything about this car is very relaxed except the engine yeah because you really put your foot down and, and wow you know it is impressive <laughs> you know when you compare it to some competitors and I, you know I, I do I was I just kind of said something negative about the manual transmission but the fact is no other competitor at the time had a manual transmission yeah. in their executive mid-sized sedans. The RS6 of this era didn't have one. It had the bad Triptronic, and then the Mercedes E55 of that generation um, had, a, you know, an automatic as well, and they had gone away from manuals. So to have a manual transmission with this big V8 and this big luxurious car, I'm so happy that this has it. And yeah, they're, no. they're so collectible because of that nowadays. They're so yeah, expensive. everyone wants one. Yeah. And this one's only got... 10,000 miles, almost 11,000. It, it's impressive how it's, nice this one is kept. Yeah. It's, it's really, really impressive. All, everything looks brand new, and it smells brand new in here. Yeah. I would say like the actual build quality is quite impressive. Obviously, we're in a really nice one of these, so we have a bit of survivor, survivor bias here a little bit. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like early 2000s quality, I, I, I mean, especially if you think about the era, and you think about the, the kind of what people were thinking in the era, BMW was so at the top of its game. This yeah. is the golden age of BMW right here. Oh, yeah, they really were. You know, and so I think everybody wanted one. Everybody wanted one, and it was for good reason. These are incredible cars. And, oh, and wow. they handle super well. We're going around some tight back roads here. And the, you could feel the body roll. It's, it's a big car. Yeah. But it does not... It doesn't scare you. It doesn't have this, like, crazy... Oh, i got to get a shift out of that. There, there we go. Yeah. It feels like, despite the body roll, you have a lot of control in the corners. 100%. I feel yeah. that way, too. I think you can definitely tell why this car has so many miles on it for so many people. Like, a lot of people do daily drive these things. Okay. And it's weird to think about daily driving a rear-wheel drive, no traction control, or a 2000s sedan like this, you know, in the modern era. Uh, especially, like, um, compared to some new arrivals that are comparable in price, you know, if you try yeah. to find a nice one of these. It, but like I can definitely see it. No other thing in this like class offers a manual transmission, and this old school V8, and it it's so so good. You can run to the grocery store, then stop at a street race, <laughs> then go home to your wife and kids. Yeah, and your wife, your wife and kids will approve of this of this car. Cause yeah, because it's a four seats. It's practical. It's not loud. There isn't any competition. This just is the best bang for your buck manual rear wheel drive V8. Fun, everyday, yeah. daily, that you can get. It checks so many boxes. It really does. This is a complete enthusiast car. This, it, you, yeah. if you don't really know what you're ta like doing with cars and don't really know much about cars, it's decent. But if you're a true car guy yeah. and you just you appreciate it for what it is. It is a perfect car, which is why they're going up in value so much, and yeah, why so. they are completely just sought after. And rare yeah. ones like these, low mileage, yeah. not touched, yeah. completely stock. It, and they're not making any more of these, right? Mm -mm. The BMW still does make manual transmission versions of the M3 and M4, yeah. and, and but they don't make the M5 in a stick anymore. And sure. you can kind of argue since since this exact generation, they didn't make it as good of an M5. I mean, people yeah, no. love the new generation M5 CS, and that's like the gold standard now of like really track-focused yeah, no. you know, sedans. But also, it kind of got away from it. It's super harsh, and like by all accounts, incredibly stiff and undrivable on the street. Yeah. But, but this is just a dream. This is actually usable. It's, yeah. And they, you have your cake and eat it too. And I yeah. just love that. <laughs> These, this generation M5 yeah. is actually reliable. And, and it's, the, it will also pulled in a lot of the enthusiast market. Yeah. And now there's a great aftermarket support and also just prolonged, you know, long-term support for a lot of the OEM parts because yeah. it's so sought after. It, it, this is a, again, like I said, it's a have your cake and eat it too kind of car. Yeah, you definitely. have your manual, you have your V8, you have the, you know, the rarity and you have the specialness, but you also have the rear seats and you have everything. It's just fantastic. Yeah. And it's a, I don't, I, this was never a hero car for me, 
Um, because it never really flew under my radar when I was a kid. But sitting in here today, it did feel like I found a hero and then met it, and I was like, okay, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like one of those celebrities you see on the street, and you're like, I know you, I know you. Yeah. Oh, you're them. And then it's and then it's like, oh, you're amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, I think with that, you wanna wanna close it out, and we'll get yeah. going. So, we're gonna ooh. before we go. Yeah. Please check out our Instagram. Mm. We have been posting pictures of the cars and reminders of the videos. And you get it little is, teasers of like next, yeah. the next video coming out exactly. before they come out. So it's uh, manual motion underscore YT. Yep. Uh, and it's uh, we post a lot of cool stuff there as well. So be sure to so check it out. So please go check us out. Follow us. Give us a follow. Give us a subscribe. Well, we're going to say that later too. But uh, anyway. We're going to reiterate it. We reiterate. We always reiterate. Always reiterate. Always. Thank you. We'll see you there. I'm leaving all that in. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <laughs>so that was our trip to cars and coffee we actually stopped by hayfields instead of new canaan we went to new canaan wasn't really a lot i mean the weather's kind of muggy we went to hayfields great turnout everyone there is so nice and we just want to say thank you so much to the owner for letting us borrow it It truly is an amazing car and we want to say thank you for all of you watching we really do appreciate it yeah and yeah and we have so many cool cars to show you coming up soon uh we have modern cars like this you know supercars too uh we were really really excited to show all of it too uh and we do have an instagram account we mentioned it during the uh during when we were driving it be sure to uh, follow that as well and uh, you'll get some updates and sneak peeks on what's coming up next next week we're doing it's kind of a bm back-to-back -back beamer week we're doing something really special Please watch out for that video. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, really it's going to be excited. so much fun. It's going to be so cool. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next week. See you next week.